Welcome back to another Curator's Chat here at Behringer Crawford. My name is Jason French. I'm the Curator of Collections here. And you may be aware that, well, we missed having a Curator's Chat last week. And that's because the weather locally was not conducive. We, our power went out. Uh, and that's made me think a little bit about, you know, for a long time people didn't live with power. And even sometime, sometimes people still choose not to live uh, with power. I have surrounding me uh, both new acquisitions and old acquisitions from an artist and an author named Harlan Hubbard, uh, who was born in Bellevue, Kentucky. And he chose the latter part of his life to really exist in a world without power. So much of this that we see here are things that he created without living on the modern grid. And I think that's fascinating. He did many interesting things in his life. Uh, he built a shanty boat and he and his wife, Anna, floated down the Ohio and into the Mississippi and down to the bayous over a number of years in the shanty boat and they would stop along the way find some place where they could plant crops through the summer so that they had food they would fish but all of that was kind of living you know off the grid and living uh with nature he was a very accomplished person his family he came from a very accomplished family as well but he would choose to live kind of a very rustic life and he would write about it in such works as Shanty Boat. Uh, he was very keenly aware of his legacy, so he made sure that he would publish his journals and how people remembered him. Harlan is a very interesting individual, and as I said, some of these collections are all new. Uh, they came uh, from the late Mia Cunningham, but other things behind me here, and we have a, quite an extensive Harlan Hubbard collection, Harlan donated to this museum himself uh, before his death in the late 1980s. So I thought I would share this with you because, you know, when we run out of, you know, our power goes off and it may be off for a while. Sometimes we scratch our head and we go, well, what can I do? I'm so used to having power. I just sit here and what can I do? Well, Harlan did all of this in a world without power by choice. And that I think is really interesting. I, I encourage you to, to maybe read Shanty Boat or some of his other works if you're interested. And these new acquisitions, we hope to have on display here very soon in a small exhibit we're going to put up with new acquisitions. So come and visit us. Thank you and uh, we'll see you next week.